Here we are, level three for the accent exercise. As in the past exercises I taught, same thing applies here. We're looking in level three to push ourselves, to play faster, to be stronger. And uh, for that, I would start on your metronome wherever you maxed out in the maintenance round. For me, that's always around 150, it seems to be, and work up from there. Uh, however, I did back it down to 140 because I want to show you how I practice it as I get towards level three. As I get to uh, level three, what I start doing is, is I play the exercise straight through, just like in level two, and uh, I play it right-handed because I'm a right-handed player, but when I repeat back to line one, at the end of line one, on four E and the last beat, the very last note, I replace that left with a right stick which makes that a paradiddle, a right-handed paradiddle, paradiddle. And what that does then is it forces me to switch hands to the left hand for line two. So now I'm playing the exercise left-handed, and then when I repeat back to line one, I'm on my left hand, and when I get to the end, beat four of line one, I swap out that right stick for a left stick to make a left-handed paradiddle, and then I go to line two and I'm back on my right hand. And what that does is it gets me moving back and forth between my hands on this exercise so that I'm working both sides of my body equally. That's how I like to practice. This is what that looks like at 140. Right. etc. Through the exercise I go. That's how I like to play it in level three, uh, but again that's around 140 and from there I work up and see how fast I can get. Of course you're going to find that your weak hand is going to slow you down. If you want to develop just your strong hand, then just play the exercise with your strong hand and, and do the short bursts from there, um, as we discussed in previous videos. In case you missed that, short bursts are play the exercise once at a fast tempo, Bump it up small increments, five or less, play it again. It's like sprinting. Bump it up five, play it again. Bump it up five, and just keep pushing that tempo up, bursting through it for speed. If you want to work on endurance, start at a slower tempo, like 140 or 150, and play it for five minutes straight on one hand or five minutes on the other or switching hands. Hey, at this point, there's a whole lot you can do with this exercise, and we're only halfway through what this exercise can do for you. So stick around, check out my next video.